Hello everyone. Good morning or good afternoon. Welcome to PlatformCon. My name is Alex. I'm a product manager by profession and I've been working in different platform product roles for the last three and a bit years. When I don't work, I write about all things platform product management and behavioral science on my Substack newsletter called The Platform Space. I'm really excited to be part of this year's platform con and just be part of the platform con community. And today I want to talk to you about how to make an impact as a platform product manager and what are the areas of focus for platform product managers. But before doing that, let's start by defining the product. What is a platform? I believe this is an area that has quite a lot of buzzwords and there is an ongoing joke about everything either being a platform or on its way to become a platform. Abstracting from all of that and trying to abstract from the technical jargon as well, let's think about the platform product through the lens of the product engineering teams. If the purpose of a product engineering team is to build products that solve a real customer problem in a meaningful and valuable way, the end goal of a platform product is to enable the product engineering teams to do exactly that, but faster and in a reliable and secure way. You'll find different uh, name variations of the teams, right? Either be foundations or platform engineering, infrastructure and tooling, engineering enablement or developer enablement, and the list can get long. But fundamentally, think about the platform product as the foundation for the other product teams to build and ship their products to the end customers. You might think, well, okay, so if that's the, the product, is the role of a platform product manager different? My short answer to that is not really. As a platform product manager, we are responsible for managing a platform's product development, the scalability of the platform, the reliability of the platform, and security. And we optimize for all of that in a really cost efficient way. So in my view, cost efficiency or cost optimization becomes the fourth pillar of the platform product outside of security, scalability and reliability. That's what we do, right? That's the what. But why does it matter? And what's the impact of that? Well, we enable the product organization to move faster without breaking things and without having to worry about their internal tooling and their infrastructure, effectively taking that cognitive load away from them. I mentioned uh, earlier that I don't think the platform product manager role is different, and I really don't think that, but also we are somewhat of a unicorn or we are the special kids because the role is niche and the role is specialized. And so I hope that changes a bit as um, the industry grows as well. So as a platform product manager, particularly if you're new in your role, how do you think about making an impact? Well, the, one of the first critical areas of focus is the ability to clearly define a team mission, a platform product vision and a platform product strategy. And you have to align that with the broad organization. But effectively to do that, you need to understand the company's objectives as well as the internal team's objectives and also really have a good understanding of the engineering strategy as well, if there is one available. Once you have an overview of that, we then aim to identify opportunities for the platform products development and growth in a measurable way because yes we do have to measure obviously the initiatives um the initiatives that we lead on as platform product managers in doing so we not only ensure that we deliver value for the organization and, and value for the for the product teams but also we ensure that we remain a driver for both growth and innovation 
what you see here on the screen is a framework I use to think about all these different areas. And I use it more as a mental model. I actually call it a platform product stack, but it's inspired from Martin Zerickson's uh, product decision stack. And it's not the one framework to rule them all. It's just one model or one framework that you as a platform product manager can use. Ultimately, as PMs, though, we need to use frameworks and models that do apply to our context and also that applies to how the team operates as well. Other critical areas of impact. Firstly, communication and collaboration. I think these are critical skills for a platform product manager as well. Because if you think about it, in our roles, you move from communica communicating and collaborating with uh, the internal users, which are usually technical folks, engineers, to communicating and collaborating with senior stakeholders that are usually non technical. So you have to learn abstraction, you have to learn how to abstract and when to abstract the, the technicality of your communication, but also how different teams and different people communicate and adapt and adjust to, to that as well. The second uh, area of impact is managing technical risk. Now, I would put the risk or define the risk in two categories. One, technical debt as a risk. Because if ignored, this can overwhelm the internal product teams and have an impact on the speed of delivery for product and features. And the second area is security and compliance work. And folks that work in highly regulated industries like fintech or healthcare, they know what I'm potentially what I'm talking about. We should really approach this as you should reapproach this as everything else, right? Being very developer centric or user friendly, and we need to build simple processes for compliance and security. And we need to think about making security as part of the developer workflow, rather than making it a, a thing or or separating it from it. We have to abstract the compliance jargon from that as well. And finally, the last uh, area of impact on here. And my favorite one actually is optimizing for a great developer experience. Now, I am a big believer and practitioner of on one side, yes, you can have a, a high level definition about what developer experience actually means, but each organization need to define what developer experience means for them in the context they're at and, and what they want to achieve, but also how to measure that developer experience. And as product managers, we do have a big, we can have a big impact on that as well. Because we can be the drivers for defining that. And also once we have that defined and we're explicit about it, we need to make sure that we gather the data so we can prioritize all the pain points that we want to optimize for. And we really do understand what, what the pain points are as well. This can be related to tooling, automation, governance, infrastructure, processes, again, the list can get long. And notice there is absolutely no mention here about AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, or Kubernetes. In fact, I actually thought we could get through this without mentioning AWS um, or Kubernetes. But obviously the tools we choose and the tools we use have to solve the problems we have and have to apply to the context we're in as an organization. Again, going back to the context because it's really important. Whilst I recognize some of these areas can sound complicated, or technical, overwhelming, it's truly a super exciting role and we can have a lot of impact as platform product managers. I would summarize the platform product and the platform product manager role in one word and that is enabler. And this isn't about how technical or non-technical you have to be in this role, though there is, there is a debate about that too. But it's about do I, as a product manager, have all the information I need to understand, truly understand uh, the user's pain points, the engineering pain points, and do I have all the data I need to make sure I make the best decisions both for the internal users and ultimately 
for the organization as well. That summarizes my presentation. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, you can find me on the platform con Slack channel. See ya.